So the goal here is to make a whopper plopper. I've never made one before, but uh, curious to uh, fish one. You know, it's top water lore, and uh, um, sometimes I get in some coves with some weeds and lily pads, and uh, you don't um, usually see too much shallow water at the lake I am at, but I like a little something. I've got a couple of lures for it. i got a frog, a few other things, but um, see if we can make one of these and uh, get it going. So I've started off with four inches. Um, it would be great to be able to make it larger, but uh, in this lake, anything much over that is um, overkill for the type of fishing that uh, we normally do here. Um, I'm going to make it a little belly heavy because um, I want it to uh, stay upright really good as that tail is spinning. So let's see here. I'm going to thin it down a little bit so the thickness isn't any more than the width and uh, kind of tape it a little bit because this has to be the rotating area. I'm going to kind of make it rounded. So let's go do that. Now I'm going to do a lot of shaping on the belt sander. I'm going to fix up the contour here a little bit and cut perfectly good on the saw, but that's what the belt sand is for. And I also want to shape this thing before I cut it, um, because I want to be able to get it symmetrical all the way around, so I'm going to put it together with a still fit. But cutting it afterwards will be tricky, I'll have to make a mark all around and be very careful so I get it cut straight too. Don't know what's better, do before or after? I think I'll do it afterwards. Well, there it is, pretty good symmetry, and uh, it, this is a piece of pine. I just realized that um, I had glued two halves together to make it thicker for another bait. You may be able to see the seam down the middle, um, which is fine. And uh, it is exactly down the center, so I don't have to draw a line. I'll have to put a wire uh, in there a little later. Um, but uh, I think I will... Um, Finish sanding this up now because the symmetry is there, but the, uh, the shape is um, the smoothness is, is, is kind of roughed out. So, sanding. So, I've taken a piece of sandpaper and wrapped it around inside out and uh, tried to draw a nice straight line around here. So I have to go cut it off in the bandsaw because this will be the rotating piece. It's too bad to mess up this nicely carved bait on the hopes that I can make a, uh, a whopper plopper with a mechanism that works, but I've always wanted one, so let's go for it. Well, I've got my my two pieces here. And hopefully things will work out right. I hope I know what I'm doing. 
We'll find out if it works. plan is to use the uh, the cap from this pop ribbon um, to put inside here. Not bad. I cut a uh, small piece off from another part of a rivet to put in the other side. There, so now we have a metal sleeve with a flange on both sides of this. Later on, I'll pull those out a little bit, put a little super glue just to tack them in. Now I'm going to have two weight holes, one here and one there, because I want this thing to be upright. And I don't want that paddle to um, turn it. Well, <clears throat> I have the wire made, and um, before I put this together, 
I am going to seal this wood because it's going to be very difficult to do after that. Particularly the inside edge here. Okay, well I've made this small paddle and I'm going to attempt to curve it over um, with this torch. Don't know how it'll go. I may have to do it two or three times to try to find out. Well, it may have worked the first time. I need a good angle so you can see it here. Let's see, I'll put it in the uh, in the slot where it's going to go. And there it is. Okay, I've taken and uh, put the wire in. This seems to be spinning pretty good. And I put these two um, wedges in to hold the wire down really tight. And uh, I think I'll, I'll pour the lead in here now. And that'll help hold the wire also. And then I'll cut these off and fill these slots with uh, either epoxy or um, Super glue and baking soda. Um, I made some some alterations what I did was I took it down to the water you know without hooks and it's sealed and um, put it in the water couldn't get the thing to spin at all as a matter of fact it would pull and try to spin the bait which it couldn't do because there's a lot of weight in the, in the bottom so I took and recut the slot to make it even more of an angle and put the plastic in and it still didn't work very good it worked a little bit so I found out um, at trial and error and I kind of messed up my wing a little bit here but I uh, heated it up and I found out that it needs to be longer and just have a slight curve like repeller I was curling it over too much I took it down to the water kind of not expecting much and the thing just really really nice um, at slow speed so uh, as you can see my fin got bubbled up a little bit from heating it because I heated it up and tried three or four different settings on it um, I don't know if I'll put a new one in I hate to do that because I've already cut it once I think I might try to file this down and uh, I'll probably paint it and then put clear coat over it so time to do that
Now, I need some kind of deeper green, I guess maybe a moss green, and I don't have any, but I do have regular green and blue. And you mix mixing those together and you do get a, a kind of a moss green. What I've got is a little bit of black and um, I have some some thinner in it, quite a bit. So I've got the um, I've got the air pressure turned out very low, and I'm just gonna put a dusting over these scales. This is a lufa to make a scale pattern. Dust it down along the sides a little bit. And that is pretty nice. I got so wrapped up in the detail I forgot to uh, record it. Well, I've got some uh, black line scales that I made, uh, gills rather, with this. And now I'm putting a little pearl white down the bottom edge. hide some of that and I am planning on putting also some pearl white along the bottom of the body. Now here comes the tricky part. to want to put some collateral line of irregular spots along the side. And I've got some yellow eyes, so I think those will be the eyes of choice here.
Now I'm purposely putting this on thin because I don't want it to drip into here. I'm going to be hanging it from the center. 